Hi, Zoran Tech here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to edit YouTube videos on your Chromebook, just like I do. I'll show you my step-by-step -step editing process to create wonderful, great YouTube videos on your Chromebook. So make sure to watch the entire video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. 85% um, of my viewers aren't subscribed. I mean, like, just guys, just hit the subscribe button for awesome videos. Let's get right into our video. So first, the app I'm going to be using is called Power Director. It is right there. And then you can go ahead and click it. It launches, and then it goes ahead and loads up. And then what I do, um, there's my video from yesterday. Click New Project, um, this, and then you can add in some random footage like let's say i'll add this in this was from yesterday i would add the clips in then what i would do i would go ahead and um yeah i would go ahead and you know edit them you can do a split you can move your um cursor along which isn't working right now but then you can split you have all these little things to edit with the speed um and everything and then you can add in like stuff, like audio, like I do, music, audio. You can add in overlay images and videos. Um, that's basically my editing process. Once it's done, since I have a Chromebook, I um yeah, I do this, and it, this is the produce video. And then you click save to gallery or <clears throat> XD card. You click HD 20p and produce, and it'll save to your gallery or SD card and that like basically saves it so you can upload it with this button up here on YouTube and let's show how I make my thumbnails on YouTube over here these are all my designs you can see from my previous videos what I do I click create a design YouTube thumbnail which is right there and then it goes ahead and loads up the page and then I can start you know and then I choose a background. I usually choose like a fresh one from here for this video. I'll just use this one. I add in a heading and then like, and I can just put whatever exam, example, and then I can rotate it, make it bigger, rotate it, make it a little bigger than it already is for you guys to see it. I can go to uploads, which are all my things I've uploaded in my past, all my pictures. I can go ahead, this is from my last video, so you can go ahead and adjust it to how I like it. You can add in like something like this. Yep, and then I can add that in. And it shows up, which it's too big to show up. You can basically add all these stuff in, all my pictures. Um, there's elements you can add in, which I don't use too often, but are pretty good. Like, I use some of this, the donut. They're really cool. You can try templates. If you're not good, you can take a template and edit it. You can, you know, you can create folders of different stuff. So if you're multitasking, um, you can like have a folder for your YouTube videos, your folder for your work. But for me, I don't create a folder because I, I use this just for YouTube. Then there's some more options. Um, it comes with photos, but you have to upgrade to Canva Pro. But don't worry, this is like high quality YouTube thumbnails for like, you know, like no wise, no watermark for like the free version, very high quality. All these images, like some say pro because you can't use them, but really what you can do is you can open a new browser, search up um, Ubuntu logo, you download that picture from the web onto your computer, you go to a website or a software, you remove the background, and then I upload it to here, and that's basically what I do. If you guys need help removing backgrounds, the easy way, I'll show you right now. All right, guys, so this is the website I use. It's called remove.bg. Um, all links are in the description, Canva, um, how to download, PowerDirector, this website, everything. So remove background, you just click upload image, and then boom, there's your drive. 
Um, then you have like some, let's say, screenshot. You upload it to here. Let's see, I just my test. See, I upload an image, and this was the original me right here. And then there's taking the background, and then you can download it. And then <clears throat> you can upload it in here to Canva or your, or say, yeah, or you just put it in your power director <clears throat> for your YouTube videos. And then what I do, I go to upload, I write the description and everything. And then I click upload and then you guys enjoy it. And that is basically my entire editing process. Links for everything will be in the description below. So you don't have to worry about entering um, the website in here. Just like as you're watching this, maybe, you know, just click the first, like the, there'll be the top like links in the description. So make sure to go check those out. And thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to never miss an up new upload. And as I said in my couple of videos, I haven't mentioned this because I'm, um, you know, not a noob. I'm just not going to mention this every video, but subscribe for a shout out. We're on the road to 20 subscribers. A Twitter account will be coming soon. A Facebook account will be coming soon so I can give you updates of days I'm sick. I'm not uploading video ideas and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, never miss an upload. And let's see, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.